Reverie 2 is a very smooth and clean level, and it's one of my favorites. Its designs are really well executed, as well as its transitions and gameplay. It has a bouncy feel, yet it also has smooth movements that match the song really well. It also has some amazing gameplay, especially during the ball portions that are feel very bouncy and use a lot of slopes in a very unique way. My favorite part, actually, is the little garden planter weird thingy part that's after the robot that you're seeing now. It has a very odd atmosphere, and there's a part where you go down bubbles, and it looks really cool. There's also plants everywhere and little stars, and there's some really well-optimized and well-designed clouds that fit the decoration perfectly. The part after is not very sight-readable, but still is pretty good, and has a very odd blue and green atmosphere that fits the song even better. This might be one of the longest intros I've ever done for a level in this series, but this level deserves it. It has a bouncy atmosphere and at several times even modifies the physics of the game to give it a certain atmosphere that is just unmistakably good. It has a very unique style using objects in a very weird way that isn't often done, but I think it pulls it off very well and is still very sight readable despite how weird the structures are. It has a pretty decent gameplay, nothing special but very good and it also fits the song really well. It has an amazing design, using very small amounts of objects to make very cool things, and its progression is perfect as it gains more and more detail as the level goes on. It uses tons of default objects, especially the shaded ones, really well, and even has a custom background in the ship part that looks amazing. It also has these big yellow spikes that fit that part as well, well contrasting to the background but being a similar color and adding some more color to the part. I think the level overall is really well made and a good level by Paul. Alright, so will there really be a morning? Taste the Rainbow by Fink is a really good level made by an unappreciated creator. Fink has made several good levels such as this level and Zig, which are both some of my favorite levels in the game currently. These levels are all pretty much rainbow themed in some way, shape, or form, and they work really well with each other. The sort of modern rainbow theme with very flashy changing colors works really well with all the songs he uses, and it is a way to show many different styles in a level, such as this Flappy Bird part that is ridiculously well designed. The coins in this level, while I don't usually talk about coins, are actually quite good and fun to get. They're not difficult, but they're a little challenge that are really fun to pull off. This duel uses dash orbs in a very good way to, to its advantage, and the final ball, while not so spectacular, is a good way to round off the level and very fun to play. Road Rage is a level that I'm sure you've all heard about by now, especially since it's been showcased on Nexus's channel, but I still think it deserves a mention here. It uses road signs as blocks in a very interesting way and features tons of references and details in the names of the roads and signs on the signs. It looks really great and contains a lot of themes with a lot of different parts. It even has this little bit of a desert atmosphere that fits the level really, really well. It is very fast paced and has very fun yet slightly difficult to sight read gameplay. And the final part with the space theme is one of my favorite parts in a level I've seen in a long time. The way the signs float around while there's also rocks and other details in the part is really good and I think it fits the level's atmosphere really well. So for this episode, I did a little trolling and asked around on my Discord server if anyone else wanted to be a guest in one of these videos, and uh, they did. So Rift09 is going to do a part of this for a level they chose, D-Diamond, and I think they'll do good job, yay. Okay, D Diamond by Elfritz. It's a heck of a level. Elfritz has a really unique style that's it's just hard to mess up. The decoration of D Diamond is no different. Despite it being the average extreme demon that everyone is clickbaiting. Yeah, and Tesseract's effects on levels, it's just so recognizable and it mixes so well with Elfritz's decoration. The gameplay well taken heavy inspiration from Diamond Blade by Ice Cave. 
it really puts its own unique spin on things, especially the ship part near the end. The orb gameplay is something you normally don't see in an extreme demon. The gameplay really well mixes with decoration, and it's something that Elfritz pulls off really well. The cube part with the slopes is really well done, and um, you don't see that gameplay quite as much anymore, which is kind of sad. This level has a lot to offer. Thanks for watching. It's been a little while since my last uh, Best Levels video, so uh, I'm hoping to make some more soon. Next one's a special, so that's that's nice. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.